Okay, hey guys, it's Breaksword from Actually Running at Stock. Today we're going to be looking at the RX 480 Nitro Plus from Sapphire and its VRM. Sorry for the image quality, some idiot doodled all over it. And for some reason even wrote 200 amps going to the core. There is no way an RX 480 is going to be pulling 200 amps at stock, ever. In fact, because the stock RX 480 has a 120 watt power limit, and of course we aren't changing that, it runs at 1.15 volts stock, which means there's only 104 amps left to push into the VRM limitations. Not that we'll be running into them anyway, because this VRM is complete overkill. It's a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 phase, using IR, 35, 53s. These are 40 amp power stages, which means the total is 200 amps at 125 degrees. That's, bear in mind, that's 40 per phase. What this says to me is that it's yet another marketing stunt, just like having the 8 pin rather than a normal 6 pin, just to please those overclocking loonies. Honestly though, this should just be a 3 phase. It may sound like 120 watts isn't that much, but given it's only 104 amps total max, that's easily enough headroom. And adding 80 watts more current capability is just overkill. It could have been money saved. It's probably even more unnecessarily over-engineered and silly than the Red Devil and RX 480 reference PCBs, and those are already completely decadent. Looking as I've got the card in hand, I did some performance stuff in TimeSpy. All stock, obviously, so that's 1306 MHz core, 1750 MHz memory, and stock voltage fan speed. Overall, the graphics reached just over 4000 at 4073, with 27 and 23 FPS respectively. So I hope you've enjoyed my ramblings. If you did, like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you at some point. No idea when, though.